A cherry red Tesla heading toward Mars with a dummy called Starman behind the wheel is without much debate the most bizarre sight in the history of space travel. But the man behind it is clearly no dummy. This is something to capture the imagination and get people excited about space. Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX, knows how to get attention. Successfully launching the Falcon Heavy rocket last year, landing two boosters back at Cape Canaveral, and flying Starman all on that first test flight got SpaceX plenty of it. For Musk, Falcon Heavy was a stepping stone toward fulfilling his long-held vision of a self-sustaining city on Mars. I think we should really do our very best to become a multi-planet species and to extend consciousness beyond Earth, and we should do it now. Musk founded SpaceX in 2002, and reality quickly hit him squarely in the face. Flying in space was not easy, and it was unforgiving. The first demonstration flights of the Falcon 1 rocket from Kwajalein Atoll in the Pacific failed. SpaceX was in trouble, pretty much before it got off the ground. It was our fourth launch. And if, we, if that launch had not succeeded, SpaceX, that would have been the end of SpaceX. That was all, I, I'd run out of money, there were no, there were no more investors, um, and, and that would have been it. But it wasn't. It was just the beginning. The successful flight in 2008 was the first privately developed liquid-fueled rocket to orbit the Earth. That same year, NASA awarded SpaceX a $1.6 billion contract to fly resupply missions to the International Space Station using his next generation Falcon 9 rocket and the Dragon spacecraft. So you can see behind me various uh, barrel sections for Falcon 9. That's actually serial number two. That completed tank is serial number two of Falcon 9. Serial number one is on the test stand in Texas. And then serial number three is in, in barrel sections on the floor. During the past six years, the company's Falcon 9 has lifted satellites into orbit. Dragon has delivered supplies to the space station. And in a revolutionary technological advancement, landing and reusing the first stage boosters. So obviously if we can reuse the rocket, um, say a, a thousand times, then, then that, that would make the capital cost of the rocket per launch only about $50,000. And with another contract from NASA in hand, the company was building Crew Dragon to carry astronauts to the space station. Success has not come without some significant setbacks. A Falcon 9 exploded after liftoff, another blew up on the launch pad, and a Crew Dragon was destroyed during a pad test. The company is now nearly three years behind schedule getting astronauts to the space station. Space is hard, which seems to push Musk harder. Ever the promoter, Musk, the P.T. Barnum of the 21st century, continues to keep his company squarely in the spotlight. I'd like to introduce uh, the, the first uh, paying customer of BFR, uh, would uh, Isaku Mizawa, please come forward. Mazawa, a Japanese billionaire, will fly with a group of his friends to the moon on a massive rocket called Starship. How much he paid for the flight, which is years away, because Starship hasn't flown yet, is not known. SpaceX, in a relatively short amount of time, has become a household name. So much so that one could argue it is the most recognizable private company brand in aerospace. And clearly, Elon Musk intends to keep it that way. For My Radar, I'm John Zarella. Follow My Radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.